Okay, so welcome to Exponent Laws Day 2. So last day uh, we looked at multiplying and dividing, so I'll just kind of add those here at the top. So if we had like x to the 5 and then it had to be multiplied by uh, the same base x to the 4, so what you did was you added the exponents. So I'll show the work here. And you got x to the 9. Okay, so I don't know if that was cut off. So x to the 5 times x to the 4 equals, uh, so you add the exponents and you get x to the 9. Uh, we also did the divide type questions as well. So if we squeeze that in, so we have x to the 7 divided by x to the, I don't know, 3. Uh, then you would take those, just because they're being divided, that you would take them and subtract the exponents. Okay, so for last day, those that was the multiply and divide exponent laws that we learned about, and we went through and we were simplifying, we were cleaning up the exponents and writing it in a more simple, uh, sim simplified answer. Okay, so today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at um, power of a power law and uh, power of a product. Okay, because so the main things here, we're going to have several uh, exponents um, kind of beside each other, but just one base. Like here we had um, an x to the 5, x to the 4, but here we'll have 3 to the 5, and then not an we don't have another base of 3, we just have another exponent 3. Or here we have base of 4, and then we have an exponent 2, but then we also have another exponent outside the bracket. So we're going to uh, figure out how to deal with these today. Okay, so the new rule today is that if um, you have just the base, which is like, in this case, the x, and then you have an exponent a, and then another exponent outside the brackets, you are allowed to take the exponents and multiply them together. Okay, so um, like last day we, uh, you know, if we had the same base um, and um, uh, and an exponent each, right? We would write the base once and we would um, uh, add the exponents. So now if we only have one base and then two exponents like that, we're going to multiply them together. Okay, so here's the first one. So I see that I only have one base of 3, so I'm going to write that 3 again. But then I'm going to multiply those exponents. So I'm just going to use a dot for multiplication, right? And then so when I multiply them, remember, don't add them. You're going to multiply them, and you get 15. Okay, so again, make sure you know the difference between um, what we did here and what we're doing, uh, for what we were doing last day. So again, you have, they both have like their own base of x to the 5, x to the 4, you multiply them together, so then you'd add the exponents. But here we just have that big 3 by itself with two exponents up in the air. So if you ever see that, then you need to multiply the exponents. All right, so move on to the next one, b. So we have 4 squared and then brackets another q of an exponent outside. So what we're going to do here is, well, so we know it's the power of power law. So we're going to go take the 2 and multiply with the other exponent, 3. And so it's 4 to the 6. Okay, so again, we're just uh, simplifying it. So I'm just, I know we can calculate this out on our calculator, but we're just going to simplify and leave it in it, uh, this form here. All right, let's move on to the next one here. Um, so if you take a look here, we have a couple different letters. Um, you can think of it as like there's an exponent 1 here. Yes. And um, the main thing is this exponent 2 is near our, like, so it has this in its bracket. So y to the 17th. So basically 2 is associated with this one here, but it's not also associated with the x. Okay. So don't start rainbowing exponents anywhere. So just know that these two go together and then uh, x of 1. Um, is on its own. All right, so <clears throat> if we deal with just the y here, we know that, so I'll just show the work underneath here. So we know that since the exponents are up in the air like that, we are allowed to multiply those exponents. 
okay? And then um, so we'll get 34 like that. But then that X that was sitting right here is still is still there, okay? But nothing happened to it. It just kind of carries along. All right, so your final answer should be X and then Y to the 34. Okay, so again, pay attention to where the exponent, the outside exponent is hanging out. Um, so again, if it's hanging out of the brackets here, it belongs, um, it controls uh, the exponent in here, but it won't control the one that's further along the line in its own bracket. Okay, so that's why be careful here. Pay attention to where the outside exponent is near and make sure, yeah, use this law just within here and then with this eight here will be used within the second bracket here. Okay, so I'll write it underneath again. So again, a squared has an exponent six. So you're gonna go a and then you're gonna go two times six. Okay, and the b and the cubed is with the eight. So that means the three can multiply with the eight. All right, and so if you clean that up, you're going to get a to the 12, because you're multiplying, and b to the 24. So again, show your answer nice and clear. So if you're going sideways across the page, write it like that. If you're going down the page, I guess you can write it like this. Just maybe you want to create an equal sign like that. Okay. All right. So that's the new power of a power law. So again, make sure that you're not messing it up with a multiply. Okay. So multiply here. Uh, the exponents are side by, or it's x to the 5 times x to the 4. So there's two bases of x. So that means, all right, I have to use the multiplication rule. So that means I have to add the exponents. Okay, so what's different about these new ones here is that you only have one base. Okay, so like base of 4, there's only one, but there's two exponents now. And so that means you got to multiply the exponents. When you have a base, you add the exponents. Okay, all right, and these are similar as well, so just move on to these ones here. Um, they call it a power of a product. So the main thing here is, like I said, if there is an exponent on the outside, it, it, it controls like the ones inside. So I want you to think of these as, um, like the, you don't see an exponent here, but it's like they have a one. So here, if I make it bigger, it's like that X has a one, that Y has a one, okay? And then if that A is hanging out here, Okay, and so yeah, when we have these exponents up in the air and only one base, uh, you can write it like this. So the x, it'll go one times the a, okay? And then that a also multiplies with the exponent on the y. Like that. Okay, so then uh, when you simplify it, you will get one times a is just a, and one times a here is just a. So that's how this rule works. So it's like, um, so you're, yeah, just kind of remind yourself that there's a one and one there. So you'd multiply those exponents, okay, to simplify it. All right, so try this one out here. So let's just write it a bit bigger. So we know that we have this 2x squared inside the brackets and this uh, exponent of 3 out here. Okay, and then just a reminder, so anything that has no exponent, remember it has an exponent of one. Okay, so here I would change it to a different color. Okay, so that two has an exponent of one, uh, x here has an exponent of two, and then we have this uh, three outside, okay? So what we're gonna do is the same thing, that exponent, because there's only one base, so two, that exponent will multiply with the the one okay so three will multiply with the one that was there and then for the X it had a two so the three will multiply with the two okay so your final answer will be two to the three X to the six like that okay okay let's try the next one here we'll just put it underneath here more space. Okay, so again, I'll just make it bigger. So you know that this three has an exponent one, 
m has an exponent 2. Uh, y has an exponent 3. And then all of them have this exponent 2 outside. Okay, so when we have an exponent outside like that in the air, so you're going to multiply all the exponents together. So 1 times the 2 that was outside. Okay. m is 2 times 2. And y is 3 times 3. Okay, so uh, 3 to the 2, m to the 4, and y to the 6. Okay, is your final answer. Okay, so that's pretty much the lesson for today. Just uh, I want you to practice your power of a power law or a pro uh, power of a product. So basically they are the same. You're just looking at that extra exponent now hanging out and how, how do you simplify the exponents. Uh, when you see that. So I'm going to do some examples anyway though just to make sure if uh, just after those few it still doesn't make sense uh, so just keep watching here um, but if you feel pretty confident um, or you've seen these before from last year you can move on to the checkpoint. Okay all right um, so let's go along here. Okay all right so we have to simplify okay so right now we have multiple exponents and so forth. We just want to have um, just one. Just get it down to uh, a simple form. Okay, so again, we have a 7 to the 3 inside brackets, and then we have a 5 outside. So we know it's that power over power law, so we need to multiply the exponents. Okay, so the key will be to differentiate from what you did la last day with multiplying and dividing, because those ones you add and subtract the exponents, but here you're multiplying. All right, and we'll go to B. So again, work ahead and then check your answers. All right, and then here we have three, and then two exponents up in the air like that, so four times two, okay, makes eight. Okay, so those ones both had a base of an actual number. Um, you just, you still treat it the same way even if you have letters, okay? So if we just have that one base of um, X, and then two exponents up in the air that you can multiply together. Okay, and again, try not to use the multiplication symbol anymore. You just use the dot so that you're not confusing a multiply symbol with the variable x. Okay, and then keep going right here. And then remember, you got to multiply. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> uh, let's go to the next one. So some more, hopefully you're getting fast at these now. There we go, and fourteen. Okay, so those are the nice simple ones, but so now we'll move on, make it a little bit more complex here. So now we have a, um, a couple different um, bases here, or no, it's the same bases of three, but then a few exponents. So we're looking at the first one here, and we're noticing that um, there's two exponents for this one, and there's only one for here. Okay, um, so if you're trying to figure out which one should I do first, um, think of it like falling bed mass still. So you're going to deal with the exponents first before you go and try to multiply these together. Okay, so you have to deal with this exponent first. So let's do that. Um, so we're going to have 3 here, and we're going to multiply the 4 and the 2 together. Because they're power over power. Okay, and then we'll just leave 3 to, uh, to the power of 5 here. Okay, so when we clean that up, you'll get 3 to the 8. Okay, so from there you're thinking, oh, I did something, I must be done. Nope, keep going. So now that you have uh, cleaned up that extra exponent, now you are at this uh, step here, and then this means 3 to the 8 times 3 to the 5. So when you have to multiply, 
Um, and look, they both have a base of three. That means now you're kicking in what you did last day and you have to add the exponents. Okay, so you write the three once and you add the exponents and you get to our final expression, three to the 13. Okay, so you keep going uh, using all the laws that you've picked up um, until you get it simple. All right, here's another one. Um, so we have two to the three, okay, in brackets to the exponent of another three. And this line means divide two to the four. So we got um, a divide to work with, but we also have this power of a power. So let's clean up the top first. So you know that if it's power of a power, you can multiply the exponents. I'll just keep writing the two to the four along. And then we get two to the nine divided by two to the four. Okay, so again, just because you completed one step, don't think you're done, just keep checking and going, oh, I can clean that up now. So again, this is two to the nine divided by two to the four. You both have a base of two there. Okay, so that means you're allowed to use your division law from last day, and that means you will subtract the exponents like that. Okay, so here's your final answer, two to the five. Okay, just a few more, and we'll be done. All right, so take a look at the next one here. Uh, a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff happening as well. Um, again, so just kind of go through step by step, um, thinking bed mass. All right, I should deal with the stuff inside the brackets first before I go outside to the ex um, exponents on the outside. So that's what we'll do here. All right, so we'll go and deal with what's inside the brackets. So we have five to the five times five to the two. So again, we both have a base of five, so this is the multiplication rule where we are allowed to add the exponents. Okay, and some of you might be wondering, like, how much work do I have to show here? Can, you know, if I can do that in my head, is it fine? Yes, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that one up. At the same time, I'll clean the bottom up here too. So five to the four times five to the five, that's the same as four plus one. Okay, because there is a one on the one on the inside. Okay, and then that exponent two is still out there. All right, so if we just clean it up a bit more here, so we get five to the seven with the exponent two, and then we have five to the five with that exponent two on the outside. Okay, so really what we did there is we took care of the uh, brackets inside, Sorry, this is a five. Okay, so we took care of the stuff inside the brackets and now we're moving out to the exponents. So um, now we're gonna take care of this five to the seven. So see how there's only one base of five but two exponents up in the air. So we're gonna go five is seven times two and five to the five times two here. Okay, so then we get, I'm um, running out of space here. Okay, so we'll just go 5 to the 14 and 5 to the 10. Okay, and then the final answer we'll squeeze in here. So uh, I guess this one more step for work if you want to show all the work. Okay, so you know you have to divide them. Okay, so 5 to the 14 divided by 5 to the 10. That means you're allowed to ex uh, subtract the exponents. And then your final answer is 5 to the 4. Okay, so we cleaned that up and simplified it and got to a much simpler looking answer than what was there before. Okay, so, all right, keep going. Think about bed mass, think about exponent laws you learned. Okay, so here we have 10, four times two, and the bottom is 10 to the two times three. Eight. That makes six. And then we'll subtract those. And get to there. Okay. 
All right, so that was an easier one. I should have probably made I later in the list of questions, but okay. All right, uh, let's go to K and L and then we're done. And then you can uh, go practice. Um, I have a worksheet, I'll have a worksheet that you can practice with and then um, try the checkpoint. Okay, so uh, let's do this one here now. Um, so we're seeing seven to the six, we have some A to the A cubed. So we're seeing some seven bases of seven and bases of A. Okay, so remember, um, if we're using um, the uh, multiplication or division rules, we have to have the same base. Um, but if uh, if you have different um, bases when you're using the power of the power, it's okay. So like here, two was the base, two to the one, right? And then this was x. It's okay. You could still use this power of power power of a product rule when they're different bases. But when you go to actually, you know, like divide, like two to the nine divided by two to the four, you have to have the same base. Okay, so to keep that in mind as we go. All right, so um, I'm taking a look here. So I'm thinking, okay, bed mass, brackets, I can't do anything in the brackets, exponents. Well, in this case, there are no exponents on the outside. Okay, so now we're gonna go to multiply. So let's take care of the top here. So see there's seven to the six and seven to the two. Those have the same base. So I can use the multiplication rule there. Okay, so seven to the six. Um, I can add it, add the exponents with seven to the two because they have the same base. Okay, and then, so you can keep those, I guess, in their own brackets. And then you have that a cubed all by itself. It has nothing to multiply with. That's okay, just carry it along. And then the bottom is still, there's the a and the seven can't, um, you can't do anything with right now, so let's just write them again. Okay, so seven to the six is seven to the, um, or seven to the six plus two is uh, eight. Okay, and then we have a cubed, and then we have what we had underneath. All right, so now um, the sevens, you can use the division rule, and the a's, you can use the division rule, okay? So, um, so what we're gonna do, so we'll clean up the sevens, write it once. And you know you can subtract the exponents, and with the a's, okay. So again, you don't know what um, exponent is here. Really, you don't see it, but it's actually a one. So that's three minus one, and then final answer: seven to the five, and a to the two, like that. Okay. All right, and last one. Okay, so again. Uh, we have three different bases this time. We have a base of 10, a base of x, and a base of y. So again, just follow bed mass. There's no exponents hanging out on the outside, but um, so let's just keep going here. So um, from there, why don't we just go right into division then? Well, so we have a 10 and to the 10 and then 10 to the 8. So what we can divide those out and subtract the exponents. Okay, the x's, so there's no uh, exponent at the bottom here, but remember it's like having a one. All right, so x is four minus one. And y is five minus one. Okay, and then let's clean those up. So then we get 10 to the two, and then we have x to the three and y to the four. Okay, so um, just go through there, make sure always be uh, trying to use some of the new rules from today, but also be using the rules from last day as well.